Kenny Lofton looks like a guy that, first off, if he can lose the weight, he's going to be a really good basketball player for a very long time. But at the very least, if he stays around the same way, he's a guy who definitely seems like he has a place in the NBA. And I know someone's going to comment down below that, dog, this is summer league. 10 out of 15 guys are overseas and G League players, which is nothing wrong. They're still great NBA, one of the best NBA players in the world but they're not at the NBA level standard. Now, Kenny Lofton went out tonight. He shot 17 field goals, made eight of them for 47%, shot 33% from three, hit two of those six attempts. But the best part was, was he had 19 points. He went to the free throw line twice. He had seven rebounds, two assists, a block and a steal. And this is the Kenny that we love. This is the Kenny we were expecting. And also, you guys can't tell me that Kenny Lofton doesn't look like Robert De Niro in Shark Tales. Tell me I'm wrong. Put in the pictures right now. This man's shark, literally Robert De Niro from Shark Tales. Someone's going to be like, that's offensive, Sierra. But either way, look, they got David Roddy. And they got they got another guy who could play similar to David Roddy, but even more extreme. And the 6'7", 275 pound Kenny Lofton. He's literally a bull. And he knows how to use his frame to carve out and punish defenders. First off, he can carve out space with his size, but then punish defenders. Because he's got this like beautiful soft touch and a knack for being able to finish in traffic. And another thing is, is because of his size, he loves rebounding. He's so aggressive. He's seeking out contact. He's literally a tone center in the paint, in the game, that he just imposes his physical will on the game. Okay, and it's amazing. It's due to the fact that he's just so huge, and he's six foot seven. Like I said, two hundred seventy-five pounds with this center of gravity that you know some players. It's just he has an advantage on, and it's wild. And he's not agile or quick, but what he does is he has this quick hands and quick footwork that when with the ball, just someone his size shouldn't move like that. And yes, there are questions, and he's just. He's got a great motor and stuff. I mean, currently, I just think, obviously, sometimes he can be foul-prone and one-track-minded. But Kenny Lofton, man, for me, that wingspan and everything, because the thing is, is Kenny Lofton, what, he, I don't know if, yeah, he measured with, at 6'7 with a 6'11 wingspan guy is going to be a, a pterodactyl out there not and, and i just fully believe that people honestly should give him a chance and they're gonna they're gonna notice that he's a lot better than people were expecting okay he's a guy that actually is just a legit dog and i realized damn Therese already beat me to a video here. Damn you, Therese. But Kenny Lofton, you've been fun to watch. I enjoyed it. And I want to hear your thoughts down below. He, again, he, he was just a bull. A bull in a china shop this past game. But let me hear your thoughts down below. Also, he imposed his will. Chad Holmgren's going to have difficulty if, you know, Kenny Lofton continues doing what he did but uh, i want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section that's basically it i don't think i have anything else but yeah that's i think also first off this is actually an example that kenny lofton really did put chen Holmgren on on display like about the whole frame